Talking about success, a man who quit his job and invented a vacuum cleaner in his house has now sold 20 million of them around the world. Yes, Nick Gray used to design vacuums for a big electronics firm. But when they shifted the business to Hong Kong, he left and he used his savings to invent his own machine. Our business correspondent, Mark Goff, has been to meet the man who could be the next James Dyson. Vacuuming isn't the most interesting subject in the world, but this might change your mind. Nick Gray is an inventor, and this is his invention, the G-Tech Air Ram. Why Air Ram? Well, because it uses air to ram the dust and dirt together in a small compartment. It also does away with all the tubes, and this, according to Nick, means it uses just a tenth of the power of a normal vacuum cleaner. Conventional vacuum cleaners use a load of energy dragging dirt and dust through, through tubes to a bag that's far away. With the GTEC air ram it compacts the dirt into bales and rams it into a little bale that's, that's very close to the floor. And this consumes a fraction of the energy and gives very strong performance too. He's been in vacuuming a long time. He designed them for another firm, but when his job switched to Hong Kong 11 years ago, he went on his own. I'd saved up uh, 20,000 pounds, which I figured if I was careful could keep me going for 18 months. And after 18 months, either someone bought something that I'd done or uh, I was off to get another job again. I went out and bought myself a computer-aided design system, uh, 4,000 pounds of my hard-earned savings. Set it up in a little study room I've got downstairs and I've got a garage with tools and, and a bit of materials. And yeah, set myself the same working hours as I've done before and to design and develop a new uh, cordless solution to uh, keeping your floors clean. The very first products that we made of this was bits of plastic glued together, we made some brush bars and motors, cobbled it all together and tried it out. And right from the word go, this product performed very well. So we kept that running actually for weeks and weeks. It's a bit of a Heath Robinson looking affair, but yeah, it does a really good job of cleaning. From a converted dairy in Worcester, this firm has grown to sell 20 million models of his first machine around the world. He says his new invention could catapult the business. Well, I'd like to think it's worth 10 or 12 million pounds and, uh, you know, we've done very well in the past. We sold uh, 20 million of our first product, but if this one goes well, whew, who knows, it could be worth 10 times that, so uh, fingers crossed. Like everything else these days, this vacuum is wireless, well, cordless. There's no mains lead. It's battery powered. They're made in China and the factory's churning out tens of thousands of them a month. 30 people work here in Worcester and Nick's got a few more inventions up his sleeve. He won't tell me what they are but he's hoping to clean up. Mark Goff in Worcester for Central tonight. Hoping to clean up. I gather, by the way, that you can plug that into your computer and then it tells you how much energy you've, you've saved. Yes, yes. Energy you've saved by using that machine, not by shouting at the other half to get on with the hoovering, <laughs> yes? <laughs> <laughs>